holds a big school of them, biggest school of them. I'm looking at the biggest money. That's tea, Boris. You know, like the traveling part of it's good, but it's what you get up to. That's where it's at. Can I get them both? No, one's chasing the other one. Oh, right in the shallows. They were like in ankle deep water. This year is going to be something else. Good morning. Good morning too at that. Not a bad little morning to wake up in suburbia. <laughs> anyway, got a few jobs. Bit of a DIY sort of thing. Um, if you remember me saying when I was back over on the, the uh, west coast or NWA, I was saying about um, getting a few things sent over here. They end up rocking up. So we're gonna go fit them today. Um, pretty excited. I don't. I like getting new stuff. You know the the setup and that. So I end up getting myself um, uh, the it's called a, a quickie 2.5. It's from Camp Boss. Um, so it's an awning and it opens up like on its own and that. And then I actually went all out too, and I got the the quickie shower tent as well. So same sort of setup. So we've got to fit them today, see how I go. Or, um, you know, you don't, until I open up the boxes and find up, find out, you know, all the hiccups and all the setbacks, but it should be pretty basic, hopefully. I said that before. <laughs> I won't say it's gonna be an hour job because that'll end up taking hours. Knock a few jobs off because I reckon, I've had a thought and I've been thinking about it for a while. I don't know if you remember, but it might have been probably a year or two ago now when I was over here. I end up leaving the uh, camper trailer and we end up setting off in just the Ute camp. And I did the wet season in the Ute camp along the east coast. Check out this view. How's that for a view? <laughs> From the kitchen. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do this time around while I'm back. I'm going to leave the camper trailer and we're going to get the ute. I can throw the quad up on the ute um, and then also. We see I've got the boat trailer now. I, I got that last last year, so I set off in the ute first on its own, but then I wanted to get a boat trailer so I could take the boat. Might even get wet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I still got that uh, boat trailer and that's another thing we're gonna be doing a few jobs to because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going yet, but I'll give you a heads up, but I have an idea and where I'm going, I just, I'm gonna do some work to it, make sure it's gonna be ready for it. So it'll be, yeah, doing a pretty big trip and I reckon I'll be in it for a good couple of months, who knows, could be longer. We're gonna see how we go. But it'll save a lot of fuel money too, <laughs> just taking that. And I like it, it's nice and easy, compact, back to swag living. Um, there's a few things, you know, I've got, got a shitload of things to do actually. I'm gonna um, do the suspension on the ute, um, get that done. Uh, I've got a, I don't know if you remember, we built a rack to go to house the roof, uh, the, to house the swag so I can utilize it as a rooftop tent. I've just gone and put the platform up there. I'm just going to set it up and show you. It's um, not feeling the best. <laughs> I really don't feel like putting up <clears throat> cameras and all that. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, wing it and 
show you what she's going to be like. But. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is what I call, I don't know, room of the view. <laughs> Wait till it, yep, focus. Spinning around. Dun dun dun. Or it could be rolled on the ground. Well, I've um, got a few things I want to do to that to lighten the load. Uh, change it up a bit now that I've run it for a bit. I know, I know how I, I want it exactly. So we'll get that done. Um, and yeah, just uh, the um, old boat trail and make sure everything's in good nick for this trip. But I am looking pretty forward to it. Anyway, we'll go start our day, I think. That's about it. What do you think of me flag I made? I stuffed up, I, um, so my mum's partner, Wayne. Yeah, I think he served 36, 33 or 36, pretty sure it's 36 years in the army. So, mate Jack from Von Diesel made up a, um, got all the, the what's names, cut out the stars, all that in stainless. And then I had um, iron laying around here last time, but when I ordered the wrap, I thought I ordered the proper one, but I obviously didn't. I ordered the, um, uh, what's it, navy colour wrap and not, not the, um, the army, you know, different colour, so that's that's like a big stuff up on my behalf. If that annoys me, I think I'm gonna have to fix it while I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool, it's just on a bit of iron. But yeah, anyway, pull out these tools, put them over, and if you're watching, Graham, I appreciate you letting me use your front yard, man. Graham's my mum's neighbour, Graham and Betty. They aren't there anymore, um, but I know he loves watching the video, so cheers, man, and um, do all the fitting in your front front driveway. So get off there, mosquito. Yeah, I'll do all the fitting in your front driveway, so I'll make sure I leave it clean when I go. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, man. Um, Graham made a lot of me little jig heads and that for fishing. And he's just given me another batch of them, so he loves his fishing himself. He's right into it, and I know he likes watching these videos, so shout out to you, man. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, we'll get to it. It's not going to do it do it itself, isn't it, Dodge? Oh, looks like I'm having eggs for tea tonight by the sounds of it. <laughs> Sometimes, I like to think ahead. I'll stare at it, stare at it for ages before I go ahead. <laughs> I've learned that was the best way to do before making any rash decisions. So I've just been staring at it just to get an idea of, you know, what's going to work, what's not. I know it's different once you mount everything, but at least if I get a feel for it, I know, like, you know, already I come up with a problem um, that I didn't realise I would have uh, for the simple fact that I don't have a full canopy. So I'll make yeah, I'll make note of everything just in case someone's doing the same thing. But um, I think I've got a way around it. I'm just kind of lucky. Just means I'll have to have it the awning sticking out so far, but it's not too bad because it aligns with the jerry can holder, so it's not looking out of whack. And because of the um, new shower awning is a lot bigger, it might fill that gap in and, and look all right. Looks don't matter to me. It's got to be practical too, though. But um, yeah, still, it's got to look half decent. Anyway, I think I'm, I know what to do. Gonna be a bit stuck on the awning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start this one. That way I'm not sitting all day on the awning and thinking I haven't even done anything. So I know I'll get this shower done and then I'll work on the, the awning. But now, gotta pull everything apart. Off with the old, on with the new. I don't know about you, but I hate drilling holes, especially in my car. 
hopefully they line up right. There's obviously some other holes because of other the other um, shower tents I've had. But I used the actual bracket because I won't be using the brackets on this obviously because that actually lined up real well. So I don't have to utilize that, which would have been too hard to anyway, the way it is. But I use them same holes. That's how I measured it that. Give me a bit of an idea. We'll see how we go anyway. Makes it harder when you're um, trying to line up stuff in like a box section because you got to go through the first hole, but then it's got to line up right going into the second hole. And there's eight, eight bolts holding it on. It shouldn't be going anywhere. Good size ones too. And I'll give it a go. It's all fitted. Well, I didn't record that part because whoever knows what it's like to try and fit what there's eight bolts through that and through a box section and make sure they line up either side would know. I ain't no genius at it. So it took me a few times and you didn't need to hear that um, other language I know. <laughs> nah, I did it all right, went all right actually. I um, just knocked the holes out a little bit bigger. Uh, like I said, there's no more play what's in the, the holes I drilled than there is uh, them going into the back of the shower. So there's no movement whatsoever, but managed to get them all through. Cheers mum to giving us a hand too. <laughs> Now, for those who are wondering why I went such a long, uh, what do you call it, bolt, I'd rather go long than cut it to length than have a short one there that's good for nothing after I finish with them. So I'd rather just go a long one, then I can just trim it up to whatever size I need. Yeah, went out and got a, we had to get longer ones, that's all we had to do for this kit. Uh, and that's only because of how I'm attaching it too. But everything else, your spanners are there, but just, this is where I need a little co-pilot. <laughs> Nearly done. That's a shower, we'll open it up. I'll get it open and see how it's gonna go because the only things I had to look out for was how far it's stuck out over here because the awning's gotta go along there. And um, not only that, I'm sweating up here. Plenty of electro light sitting on my lips. Um, because when I house this, this here had to stick up a little bit, but then I thought it was going to interfere with that, and that's just a touch wider than the frame, and I don't want to cut it because that'll stop a lot of the strength. So, but it, but it worked out all right because it tapers in, because it um, actually tapers in, it wasn't a problem if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So now I'm just going to go, I reckon, one, two, three, rather an overkill. I don't think it will be an overkill though, and Put three bolts and nuts in there and that'll be the gonna leave that there i'm not gonna bother trimming that off uh, no need to <clears throat> it'll work i'll just space this so i'll put washers in here to cover up for that loss of um space there that gap that'll work good i only use like utilize the one bracket yeah she's looking good tighten these up then we'll open it up when I open it up, I want to see if it's going to swing out far past this side. And obviously, I've got the tire there on this one, but I don't think we're going to lose much space because this unit's actually bigger on the inside than the other one, and the other one didn't lose much space. So, anyway, see how we go. Here's the moment of truth. See how it goes. It's a pretty big unit. I reckon it's going to be cool. <laughs> Struts are pretty solid. It's got a little clip to lock it in, which is good. I was wondering that because I didn't know, they'd obviously figure it out, but you know, when there's struts on them, you think I'm pushing in one side, then I'm trying to grab the other side, but that clips in. Um, it's my first time using it, so I'll get used to it, and it'll be a lot quicker. The saws are that. I'm digging it. <laughs> Look at the room. Because I have my toilet and shower in here, it's got a lot more room now for the toilet to sit in the corner and you got your shower. Another thing I really like is the door is at the front where the other one, it was on the corner, it was 
interfering with my spare tyre, which is not a problem on other setups, but this is just designed for me. <laughs> you anyway, we'll keep getting to it. I'll give you a proper look at when I've got it all set up properly, but yes. So here's something to think about if you uh, get one of these awnings and you don't have a full canopy um, where it mounts like, so what I've got is obviously I've only got the half canopy. So I'm fine to mount it up there. I'm fine to mount it here too, but because I only got the one point where I can mount it right at the rear on the old awning, I can mount it right on that edge. Meaning that there is pretty much what was going to stick out here. But this one, the mounting point, I can only get it as far as out to there. So that means I'm going to have about 200 sticking out, which that's not a problem. Um, but it could be for others, you know. It works out all right with me because um, I've got, you know, the jerry can. So it's pretty much going to line up the jerry can. And, and because I've got this, it comes out so much, it's not really going to look out of whack. It's probably going to fill that gap up real nicely. <laughs> but um, the only other thing now is, so where you put your nuts and bolts in, yep, I can come in from here, I'll slide them up. Bottom one's all right. I'll be able to get them right out here. Yeah, that's probably in for a reason, you, you know, but that's as far as I can go with that nut um, for the mounting part of things. But I want to get on the other side because I need to get out that furthest part. Um, but yeah, that's in there. I'm going to try and figure out a way. I just don't know what that's holding, that's all. But like, and it's probably made that, you know, you, you shouldn't go past that, but I'd further us out I don't think it's going to be a problem because you think the further us out the better you know the more um, st stability for it because you want the mounting point right near that hinge point I'd, I'd guess you know but um yeah I don't I'll try and figure it out but that's what I'm going to do there on the other end's fine so I've got all these mounting points and um, what I can actually do and like instead of just having the two on one end I'll, I'm gonna put a couple of mounts here and I'll probably even whack another two in the center You know just for a bit of it's more so If one snaps or if a nut and bolt comes off for some reason at least I've got a few more there holding on Hence the fact probably why they got two, four on each end So the other one just used to have two on one end two on the other but I also put extra on that one as well so that's my little hiccup that I've got to figure out. Boom. So I haven't got it mounted proper yet. I can't be long just in case that wind comes. But um, <clears throat> I only temporarily put it up there so I could open it up, figure out what that little bolt was on the other side. Turns out it's for the clip for one, one of the arms. So I'm going to quickly take that out. Then I, it'll allow me to slide the nuts, uh, the bolts, sorry, the ones that I wanted, all the way to this end, and then I'm laughing. Put that back in. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to get to it. She's done, finally. I'll um, let you know. I, I finished yesterday, most of it, but I come back today to finish it. She was hot yesterday, and I got burnt to a shit house. But, um, back again just got to cut a couple of bolts off and stuff like that and trim them up and she's pretty much done well um, yeah it wasn't that hard not many modifications I had to do and I um, only made one boo-boo one of the box sections I had to drill out for the awning I forgot my shower hose was running through it sitting there drilling away it's a bit springy I'm thinking what's going on here stupid hey as I'm drilling through, I feel it too, and still didn't comprehend. <laughs> but that's all right. Oh, it's an easy fix. We'll replace it, so it should be right. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I was saying to Mum yesterday, I said it looks like me awning and shower has gone to the gym for six months and got ripped. Awesome, <laughs> big too, bulky looking. Oh, we'll open her up and I'll give you a look at it.
did see a few comments um, asking about what was in the included in the setup, which that's what I was looking at too when I was looking into it. Um, so I know exactly what's in there now. So I'll show you is what is in there. Is there is a, a pole going across the end there, which you see in one of their videos, like a spreader pole. Um, and also one big one I've seen asked about the legs. So there are legs, so there are your two legs. I love it too because they use these. The old twist ones over time can get a bit here you going, I've noticed. Um, but yeah, these ones, they're, they're a pretty good latch for as long as I've been using them now anyway. So there's two of them poles and there's another spreader pole. And I'll show you where that goes. Goes up in the center. So you got one in the center, and then you got this one out here. Pretty fancy. It is a freestanding awning, that's why I went it. Um, you also do have the legs at the end, so ideal when you tie it down, which I'd suggest tying it down anyway, but it's, um, it's brilliant for when you want to stop at a spot and you don't have to tie it down. There's no wind or anything. It makes it even easier. There you poles. Personally, wouldn't push them up too hard. What I'd do is make them so they're sitting comfortable, and then when you put the guide ropes on, use the guide ropes to um, pull it down so it doesn't feel like it wants to move on you. Also, in some spots, I put a peg right beside the pole, and I'll zippy tie the um, the pole to the peg, so I know just most times when stuff like this flies off. Um, like flies out it's because the awning lifts and your leg lifts and then your leg can come out and that's when it plays havoc on your awning so if you have it tied at the base no matter how much it lifts the leg can't move out can't slip out so yeah has them as well so the reason why i went this one i was looking at the wraparound ones but the only reason why i wanted the wraparound one is it was going to be um, a roof over my, my old um, shower tent because it didn't have a roof on it so that was the only benefit that I would get out of one of them wraparound awnings, the 360s so I really did want to stick with the old design like just the 2.5 um, yeah and then when they come out as a freestanding well that sold me straight away <laughs> It is a lot easier to set up than the other one. Like I had the other one down pat and a few times swinging this open, I'll figure out where material and stuff like that, you know, where to pack stuff into. And yeah, it'll be easy, just as easy, oh, a lot easier than that, especially come packing up when you're not holding on to it. But um, yeah, it's just a matter of folding the two arms and it also comes with your lights. It's got two lights, strip lights on either side. Um, has your little switches, it has a USB, so you still got to plug your USB into a power um, to power the lights on it. What I'm going to use is one of them little power packs I've got for now, and eventually I might run power to the rear of the ute so it can plug straight into that. Got one on the other side of the awning, which I can now run straight into the canopy, so that's alright. And um, yeah, oh, what else? Feels pretty good, pretty good quality, obviously. I notice on the flaps up top they have velcro so hopefully eventually I haven't seen them yet uh, so my bad if they're already out but um, they might bring out walls for it uh, it's looked like they've thought ahead for that I've never had a full wall kit for it as long as they catch the breeze you know or just yeah I haven't gone I'm never worried about getting a full full annex for it but what I do do is always carry the two walls the outside one and one of the side walls so whichever way the wind and rain or whatever's coming from you can yeah just I always have this outside one then I'll always just put the side wall to yeah wherever the wind and rain's coming from even if the mosquitoes are bad I just usually put a coil in there and it's enough to keep them away so the reason why I went with this design is pretty much too same reason why I went with that new one um, it's not so much for their quickness or whatever but it's more for the like how sturdy they are, how sturdy that design is, like especially the arms and the shower tents. 
Now, the other ones, um, you know, it was only a new thing. That, I guess they were only first coming out, but they were just made light and easy and they worked. But the, how much they flex, like I end up having to make my legs to go up right on the end here uh, on the old setup because they were just, it would bend in when you tie it down, had a bit of wind, or you could see it bow down and she just, the arms, not the mountain point, it was the arms on the actual share itself would just fold down. Um, so that's the biggest reason why I went this design too. So they're a lot, lot, lot sturdier than, um, you know, than the other designs. Um, and it will save me zip, bug it up on my other shower tent. And the guys did say at a upholstery shop they could make me up a new curtain to go onto it, but I thought, well, it's probably a waste of money because the actual framework itself is any really cheap and flimsy. Um, but something like this, if this material ever stuffed up, this is something that would be worth getting an upholstery to make this up new going heavier again but i will say this material is a lot heavier than than the um last one i had so it um yeah i reckon it's going to last a hell of a lot longer but it'll be worth spending the money on doing it for this because it's a solid framework and worth it than the other one so a couple of reasons why i went with it and i have a roof like i said did need to get the wraparound one just for a simple roof and you know you're sitting there in the middle of the day doing a bog that sun panning down you know, it can get hot in there so you have a shower it's raining you get dried of course you're not going to get want to get wet again you know just simple things like that everyone got a drone these days including myself i use it properly some you know <laughs> Who knows, but yeah, it's just good to have a roof over the top or if you're at a camp and the camp's up higher, yeah, just anything like that, a bit, a bit more privacy. But anyway, we'll um, have a squiz inside. But same deal, it's got a light inside. You just need to bring power to it yourself. It's through a normal USB, just like the one, the awning. Um, like I said, I'm just using these little power packs, works fine and I'll just, for now I can reach the one from the awning inside here and it plugs into it as well. And the size, there's so much more room in this thing, heaps more room than the old one. It's also got the spreader pole up the end, like the awning, uh, which is brilliant because they won't want to fold in on you. Uh, so that, yeah, that, and that'll help the struts over time too, I suggest, you know lot less weight on the struts when the wind picks up and they want to push in all the time so i've um, got straps in that tie down the roof so look it may pull up the awning may pull up i'm going to find out um, but a lot of things i have can pull up and if anything i'll collect my water off of it but I always figure out a way and i realized too there's a separate little bit in the um the uh, leg um, pole bag Turns out, I think it is anyway, I haven't looked, but I assume it is. It's, it sits up on top of that middle spreader bar and it's just perfect size to uh, put a peak in the roof, little peak up in the uh, annex roof. So I was handy to come across. <laughs> Would have found it eventually. But yeah, that's for the shower in the morning. Pretty stayed with it. Um, can't wait to get out there and actually use it. You know, it's always different when you're actually out there using things and you see how they go and that. But other than that, Boy, I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. Um, probably the bigger things I like about it is how they're put together, you know. Just the design of them, they're, they're a lot more solid, they're a lot more stronger and, and will be quicker, you know. I've still got to work it out myself, like anything. Once you get something down pat, you'll be real quick at it. But, um, yeah, it's just... I just love the stability, it's strong and it's a lot heavier material. And well, now we just got to get out there and test it. And I think we've got a mad trip coming up just to do that. Anyway, I've got to work on my next jobs now. I've got to get this platform sorted out for the swag. And then we're on the next DIY project. Mm -hmm.